Yo, 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 yo. Welcome in, welcome in, Grateful Gas family to the Grateful Gas Sports Auto. Truly, truly, truly excited today. Um, just, just you know, found out some great news. Not, re- not pertaining to sports. Um, for my family, um, my sister in law and her fiance tied the knot today. I'm just truly excited for them and their life and their journey with with to them together and their son. Um, Jehovah is definitely going to bless them and he's he's already blessing them and it's just such um, a beautiful thing to see um, love grow and love flourish and and no better way of doing that than becoming a husband and wife. So congratulations to Jasmine and Dom on y'all um, marriage. Again, many, many blessings to y'all. May y'all continue to keep Jehovah at the head of God's life. And from there on in y'all marriage, he will, he will, he will, you know, work everything out. So I love y'all and congratulations again. Turn up. Hey. So uh, on that note, that's 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 past. So congratulations again, to y'all. I love y'all. Enjoy marriage. It's it's a it's a it's a great journey. No no lie. You know, ups and downs happen in life regardless. But when you get to share your life with a with a with a companion and a partner, it's, it's truly a blessing. So congratulations, uh, congratulations to y'all. I love y'all. Uh, before I get to the sports huddle, I'm going to get directly to the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of April 13th, 2024, derives from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 6, and it states as follows. For those whom Jehovah loves, he disciplines. In fact, he scourges everyone whom he receives as a son. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Hebrew. Chapter 12, verse 6, excuse me. And I'm bringing the sports huddle to y'all a little bit later on this afternoon. I um, actually came home from my job last night and just went to bed. Um, but I did not shy away from the, from the podcast. I'm here now doing the sports huddle, so I appreciate y'all being patient with me for the ones who are looking forward today. Um, forgive me again for the later uh, episode appearance or episode publication. So, But... I'm looking to have a good show. It's a lot going on right now with the sports actively as the show is going on. Um, so today I'll be going over NCAA men's news, um, NCAA baseball top 25, Major League Baseball, National Hockey League, uh, United Football League, NFL news, NBA regular season, and the Masters 2024 update. Um, also, I will have. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I will also have events that I that will be coming up next week to be on the lookout for, and I will have information from there. So, uh, moving on to NCAA men's news. So Kentucky has finally found their new head coach, Mark Pope. Um, it's going to be the Kentucky's uh, basketball men's head coach. He was a, a he was an, an alumni there from the uh, championship team in 1996. So. Uh, he had he he was he was previously the BYU head coach for the past five seasons, um, but now he has become the official Kentucky's men's basketball coach, um, and that was announced on Friday. So congratulations to Mark Pope. Um, may you have much successes there as you had when you was a player, and uh, may you you know feel feel your own shoes, but may you replace a legend. And you build your own legacy and legend and legend legendary career there. So, uh, moving on to NCAA baseball top twenty-five. NCAA baseball top twenty-five from Friday and Thursday games. Thursday we had number ten Florida State defeat Miami five to four, and we had number eight Kentucky defeat Auburn six to five. Friday games April twelfth we had number fourteen Wake Forest dominate Boston College thirteen and one. Number 15, Dallas Baptist defeated Air Force 3-2. We had an upset out of NC State. We had unranked NC State defeat number two, Clemson, 11-8. Number nine, East Carolina dominated Charlotte, 11-0. Number 10, Florida State defeated Miami, 11-7. Number 11, Virginia dominated Louisville, 21-3. Number 13, North Carolina dominated Notre Dame, 13-0. Number 16, Virginia Tech defeated Georgia Tech, 11-1. Upset out of Rutgers, we had unranked Rutgers defeat number 23, Nebraska, 7-6. Number 20, Coastal Carolina defeated Georgia Southern, 7-3. Upset out of South Carolina, unranked South Carolina defeated number 24, Florida, 10-3. 
Number one, Arkansas defeated number 25, Alabama, 5-3. to three. Number three, Texas A&M dominated number six, Vanderbilt, 15-0. Number eight, Kentucky defeated Arbor, 9-1. Number 19, Louisiana defeated Marshall, 3-1. Number 21, Oklahoma State defeated Cincinnati, 8-4. Number 4, Tennessee defeated LSU, 6-3. Upset out of West Virginia, we had unranked West Virginia defeat number 17, UCF, 7-6. Number 18, Oregon defeated USC, 4-1. Number 22, Mississippi State defeated Ole Miss, 8-0. Number 5, Oregon State defeated Stanford, 6-0. We had an upset out of UC San Diego. Um, unranked UC San Diego defeated UC number 12, UC Irvine, 15-4. For today's games, uh, currently going on, we have number seven, Duke, um, leading Pitt 12-4 at the top of the fifth inning. We have number one, Virginia. I mean, excuse me, not number one, Virginia. We have number 11, Virginia, trailing unranked Louisville, 1-7 to seven in the bottom of the third. Number 10, Florida State. Going up against Miami, just kicked it off, top of the first. Number 13, North Carolina versus Notre Dame, just kicked off also um, both of those games, the Miami and Florida State game, and the North Carolina and Notre Dame game can be seen on the ACC network. Also, just kicked off on the ACC network, we have number 14, Wake Forest, going up against Boston College. Number 20, Coast Carolina will be going up against Georgia Southern this afternoon. Number 8, Kentucky will be going up against Auburn. Number 15, Dallas Baptist will be going up against Air Force. Number 19, Louisiana will be hosting Marshall. Number 23, Nebraska will be going up against Rutgers. Number 7, Duke will be going up against Pitt. Number 9, East Carolina will be going up against Charlotte. Number 12, UC Irvine will be going up against UC San Diego. Number 16, Virginia Tech will be going up against Georgia Tech. Number 17, UCF going up against West Virginia. Number 24, Florida hosting South Carolina. Number 18, Oregon hosting USC. Number four, Tennessee hosting LSU. Number one, Arkansas going up against number 25, Alabama. Number 21, Oklahoma State hosting Cincinnati. Number two, Clemson hosting NC State. Number five, Oregon State hosting Stanford. Number three, Texas A&M hosting number six, Vanderbilt. And number 22, Mississippi State going up against Ole Miss. For tomorrow games, April 14th, we have number 23, Nebraska going up against Rutgers. Number 24, Florida hosting South Carolina. Number two, Clemson hosting NC State. Number seven, Duke going up against Pitt. Number nine, East Carolina hosting Charlotte. Number 11, Virginia going up against Louisville. Number 13, North Carolina hosting Notre Dame. Number 14, Wake Forest going up against Boston College. Number 16, Virginia Tech going up against Georgia Tech. Number 17, UCF going up against West Virginia. Number 20, Coastal Carolina going up against Georgia Southern. Number 21, Oklahoma State hosted Cincinnati. Number one, Arkansas is going up against number 25, Alabama. Number three, Texas A&M hosting number six, Vanderbilt. Number 15, Dallas Baptist going up against Air Force. Number 19, Louisiana hosting Marshall. Number 22, Mississippi State going up against Ole Miss. Number four, Tennessee hosting LSU. Number five, Oregon State hosting Stanford. Number 18, Oregon hosting USC. And number 12, UC Irvine is going up against UC San Diego. So make sure y'all tune in to the Sports Huddle next week to get updated information from NCAA Baseball Top 25. Moving on to Major League Baseball recap from Thursday, Friday, and preview on today's games. Thursday games, we had the Mets defeat the Braves 16-4. We had the Royals over the Astros 13-3. The Athletics over the Rangers 1-0. The Phillies defeated the Pirates 5-1. And the Orioles defeated the Red Sox 9 of 4. Excuse me. For Friday games, April 12th, we had the Braves defeat the Marlins 8 to 1. The Tigers over the Twins 8 to 2. The Pirates over the Phillies 5 to 2. The Rays over the Giants 2 to 1. The Brewers over the Orioles 11 to 1. The Rockies over the Blue Jays 12 to 4. The Angels over the Red Sox, 7-0. The Mets over the Royals, 6-1. The Reds defeated the White Sox, 11-1. The Rangers over the Astros, 12-8. The Mariners over the Cubs, 4-2. The Cardinals over the Diamondbacks, 9-6. The Athletics defeated the Nationals, 2-1. And the Padres defeated the Dodgers, 8-7.
Currently kicking off today's games, we have the Yankees leading the Guardians 3-0 at the bottom of the sixth with bases loaded with one out. So uh, it looked like the Guardians are about to get on the board. Then we have the Tigers up against the Twins 2-1 right now at the top of the fifth. The Mets hosting the Royals uh, about to head into the second inning. Uh, the Mets currently lead that game 3-1. The Marlins will be hosting the Braves later on today. The White Sox and the Reds games just kicked off top of the first inning. The Blue Jays host the Rockies. The Brewers going up against the Orioles. The Phillies host the Pirates. The Astros host the Rangers today at 4.05 p.m. on FS1. Uh, we have the Athletics hosting the Nationals. The Angels going up against the Red Sox. The Rays versus the Giants. The Tigers hosting the Twins. They had a doubleheader today from a makeup game. Also, the Yankees and the Guardians had a makeup game today, so they have a doubleheader later on tonight also. Then we have the Diamondbacks hosting the Cardinals. The Padres going up against the Dodgers and the Mariners hosting the Cubs. Sunday games, we have the Braves going up against the Marlins. The Red Sox hosting the Angels. The Orioles hosting the Brewers. The Pirates, Phillies. The Blue Jays versus the Rockies. The Royals going up against the Mets. The Twins versus the Tigers. The Guardians versus the Yankees. The Giants going up against the Rays. The White Sox versus the Reds. The Rangers going up against the Astros. The Athletics hosting the Nationals. The Cubs going up against the Mariners. Um, the 4.10 p.m. game, the Cubs versus Mariners for Sunday afternoon tomorrow can be seen on Major League Baseball Network. The Diamondbacks hosting the, the Cardinals um, tomorrow night on ESPN, so Sunday April 14th at 7 p.m. on ESPN. The Dodgers will be hosting the Padres. And that will wrap up our Major League Baseball slate for this weekend. So make sure y'all tune in to the Sports Huddle on Thursday to get updated information. Moving on to the National Hockey League. Again, the National Hockey League uh, playoff push is right around the corner. So uh, moving back to Thursday games, we had the Sabres defeat the Capitals 4-2. The Devils over the Maple Leafs 6-5. The Senators over the Lightning 3-2. The Panthers defeated the Blue Jackets 4-0. The Flyers over the Rangers 4-1. The Penguins over the Red Wings 6-5. The Islanders over the Canadians 3-2. The Jets over the Stars 3-0. The Sharks defeated the Kraken 3-1. And the Kings defeated the Flame 4-1. Friday games, April 12th, we had the Sabres defeat the Capitals 4-2. The Devils over the Maple Leafs, 6-5. The Lightning fell to the Senators, 3-2. The Blue Jackets got shut out again by the Panthers, 4-0. The Flyers over the Rangers, 4-1. The Penguins over the Red Wings, 6-5. The Islanders defeated the Canadians, 3-2. Uh, I'm sorry, what was I at? I think I was just reading the same. My bad, y'all. My bad, I was on Thursday still. I'm sorry, y'all. I was looking like, dang, I just, I just could have swore I just read these. Um, but so for Friday games, excuse me. So this is Friday, April 12th on the National Hockey League. We had the Hurricanes defeat the Blues 5-2. We had the Predators over the Blackhawks 5-1. The Coyotes defeated the Oilers 3-2. The Golden Knights over the Wild 7-2. And the Flames defeated the Ducks 6-3. Saturday games, April 13th. We currently have one game right now in the second half. With the second quarter on ABC, we have the Rangers versus the Islanders um, with one minute and 53 seconds left in the second quarter. Um, following that game on, e on ABC, we have the Stars hosting the Kraken at 3 p.m. today on ABC. The Avalanche hosting the Jets. The Sabres going up against the Panthers. The Flyers versus the Devils. The Capitals hosting the Lions. Excuse me, not the Lions, the Lightning, excuse me. The Red Wings over the Maple Leafs. I'm ready for football season. The Senators versus the Canadians. Um, tonight on ABC, you can see the, the Penguins hosting the Bruins, 8 p.m. tonight on ABC. The Predators hosting the Blue Jackets. The Canucks going up against the Oilers. The Kings hosting the Ducks. And the Wild going up against the Sharks. For Sunday games, April 14th, kicking off tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. on TNT. We will have the Blues hosting the Kraken. Following that game on TNT at 3.30 p.m., we will have the Golden Knight versus the Avalanche. The Hurricanes going up against the Blackhawks and the Flames hosting the Coyotes. So make sure y'all tune in to the Thursday Sports Huddle to get updated information um, before the, NF, the National Hockey League playoff picture is announced. 
Moving on to United Football League. United Football League games kicking off today. Uh, currently at the moment, we have the Renegades um, versus the Defenders on ESPN right now in the second quarter with one minute and 12 seconds left. Um, the Renegades are currently leading leading the Defenders 14-9. Um, following that game tonight at 7 p.m. on Fox, we will have the Stallions hosting the Showboats tonight at 7 p.m. on Fox. On Sunday games, April 14th at noon on ABC tomorrow, we will have the Panthers hosting the Roughnecks. So the Panthers will be hosting the Roughnecks tomorrow at 12 p.m. on ABC. And then at 3 p.m. tomorrow on ABC, we have the Brahams hosting the Battlehawks. So uh, make sure y'all tune in to Thursday Sports Huddle to get updated information from this week's United Football League Week 3. Uh, moving on to NFL news. Not much NFL news has came down the line over the last couple of days. Um, I did see that the uh the the Browns reconstructed Nick Chubb's career uh not career reconstructed Nick Chubb's contract um uh, to make it more f uh feasible and suitable for the Browns organization they're looking to probably put a little bit more pieces around him um probably on their offensive line that type of thing so um they Nick Chubb got a rework deal with the Browns and then oh uh, that's pretty much it right now pretty much it you know from from other NFL news from um old NFL players. Um, what's his name? What's the gentleman's name? OJ Simpson passed away the other day. So that's pretty much other only NFL news I got. So uh prayers and love to his family and all the people who, who loved him and really um saw the saw the best of him. So moving on to NBA regular season. Again, NBA regular season is also coming to an end. Uh bittersweet, bittersweet, but I'm looking forward to this play in playoff picture um as we continue to rock and roll. And I believe today is actually the last official day of the season. Um, so today is the last official day of the season, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's what it's looking like right here. So uh, congratulations to all those teams that made the playoff play in. Um, best of luck. As the information continues to come down, I will have that information. So let's see regular season in. Yep, today's the last day. Well, not today. I'm sorry, the 14th is the last day for the uh, NBA regular season. So that game, those games tomorrow, uh, I will announce them because we don't have any games for today. But going back to Thursday games, April 11th, we had the Bulls defeat the Pistons 127-105. to The Knicks over the Celtics 118-109. to The Jazz defeated the Rockets 124-121. to The Warriors defeated the Trailblazers 100-92. And the Pelicans defeated the Kings 135 to 123. For Friday games, April 12th, we had the Timberwolves defeat the Hawks 109 to 106. The 76ers defeated the Magic 125 to 113. The Bulls defeated the Wizards 129 to 127. The Celtics defeated the Hornets 131 to 98. The Cavaliers over the Pacers 129 to 120. The Knicks over the Nets 111 to 107. The Heat over the Raptors, 125 to 103. The Lakers defeated the Grizzlies, 123 to 120. The Thunder over the Bucks, 125 to 107. The Spurs defeated the Nuggets with a comeback win, 121 to 120. Um, also, Victor Wimbiyama became the first ever um, rookie to have a 1,000 points, I believe, with like 250 blocks and 103 pointers made um, in one season for his rookie year. Um, so just a truly, a truly a once in a lifetime um, talent. I think he's gonna definitely continue to have a great career in the league as um, long as he stays healthy. And I think he's, I think he's definitely on the right path to do that because he's has, you know, great IQ at such a young age uh, in the game. Um, see the sees the floor well. He can move without the ball, move with the ball, play defense. So um, he, he's definitely gonna be a force to be reckoned with for a long time in this league. So I'm looking forward to his growth and the success he will eventually bring the Spurs. Uh, then the Pelicans defeated the Warriors, 114 to 109. The Rockets over the Trailblazers, 116 to 107. The Jazz defeated the Clippers, 110 to 109. And the Suns defeated the Kings, 108 to 107. And for the last day of the regular NBA season, which is tomorrow, April 14th, we have the Pacers hosting the Hawks. The Wizards going up against the Celtics. The Hornets going up against the Cavaliers. The Knicks versus the Bulls tomorrow at 1 p.m. on ESPN. The Bucks versus the Raptors. 
Wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, the Bucks going up against Orlando. Then we have the Heat going up against the Raptors. The 76ers hosting the Nets. The Nuggets going up against the Grizzlies. The Timberwolves versus the Suns. We have the Pelicans hosting the Lakers tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. on ESPN. The Thunder hosting the Mavericks. Pistons going up against the Spurs. The Warriors versus the Jazz. The Rockets going up against the Clippers. And the Kings hosting the Trailblazers. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up our regular season uh, sports huddle for the NBA regular season. Um, congratulations again to all those teams who are looking to make a push for the playoff play-in. Um, I, I got the announcement two days ago that the Hawks will be playing the Bulls in their first uh, play-in tournament. So, I'm um, looking, to, looking to just really, you know, start this new season with, with wins, you know, and end it with wins, too. You know, we're, I think the Hawks can definitely make a push. Um, Trey Young getting back healthy. DeJounte Murray is, is, is coming, you know, to to his full form, getting back healthy over these last two weeks, you know, having a larger workload um, probably took a toll on his body. Um, our supporting cast players are starting to get healthier. We are losing a, a few important big men pieces, but I think we have depth that can really uh, still solidify our, our team, you know, going into this playoffs. So I'm looking forward to it. And then uh, Masters update. So I'm right now from the Masters update, um, the first, the 24 cut was made the other day. Tiger Wood did make it. Um, but right now, um, he's currently in, let's see what place he's in right now. So currently right now, the leader of the masters, um, is tied. It has a three way tie right now. They have Max Homa tied for first. Scotty Scheffler is tied for first and Bryson DeChambu is tied for first. Also, they all, they all have shot. Um, six under par, so they have they have six under par, and they kick off they tee off today around two forty five two thirty five. Um, currently right now, Tiger Wood is sitting at twenty fourth place. He's tied for twenty fourth. Um, he he shot he has a plus two right now. He's two over par currently at the moment, and he kicks off today at uh let's see oh he's currently he's currently on the tee right now. So he's he's uh shooting right now and it, it doesn't have his score at the moment. But so um stay posted. Again, I will have the information from the winner of the Masters on the Thursday Sports Hoda of next week. Um also before I get off the sports hoda today, upcoming news. Again, WNBA draft is on the 15th of April, which is this upcoming Monday. So I will have that draft um episode. Um, record it, and then I will have, I will have it uploaded to the Sports Hoda Show from Thursday. So be on the lookout. It's going to be a special draft. Um, a lot of top tier talent coming off the board. This WNBA draft, so I'm excited to see who the Atlanta Dream um, get to select. I know those top those first five teams, whoever get you know those first five picks in the WNBA draft are definitely getting stellar top tier women. Um, but I just hope, you no, know, preferably that the the Hawks, not the Hawks, that the Dream um, get the get to draft a, a solid young lady also um, going forward here to to pair with our good young rookies that we got last year. Um, and I'm excited for the Dream's growth also too this upcoming season. So um, I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Stay tuned. And I uh, thank y'all for y'all love and support. Until next time, peace.